You're not my friend. You shoved Don't a child. Don't ever say that to me. No, made it, made it, made it. You speak English, you stupid. You're not. I can record if I want to, lady. Don't record me. I have mobility my issues, though. Mobility, my butt. She Welcome, everyone. As we bid farewell to 2023, let's take a look back at the most outrageous and jaw-dropping Karen moments that defined the year. Buckle up for a roller coaster of entitlement, absurdity, and downright hilarity. It's time to revisit the best Karen clips of 2023. This crazy Karen at the drive-thru was showing off her ninja skills by climbing onto the window and kicking it. And then she went on a rampage, wrecking the place like a tornado. Oh my god, now she's got the window open. She's hitting things with a fucking red RPG. Hey, do not hit her like that! Oh my god. Anyone! I didn't mean to open it, I tried to lock it. But this world. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. You going to jail for that? You won't believe it. This guy catches another dude rocking a fake military uniform at the restaurant just to snag a 10% discount. The faker was dumbstruck, trying to get help from the workers to kick the guy out of the restaurant. But the workers took the guy's side. Hey, bro, we all talked about that. You gonna keep the same lap, bro? What you want the same lap? What do you owe you, bro? What do you owe you, bro? 1350. No, don't, don't get no time. Yeah, wow, exactly. Mom, see, look at this. Did you keep looking? <laughs> I knew when I, when I came in, I knew something was off by this uniform. You know what I'm saying? I knew something was off by the uniform. I knew something was off by the uniform. I knew it. He talking about <laughs> it, it ain't a better day. <laughs> oh, we got earrings on. We got earrings on. Full beard. Earrings. <laughs> you believe this car? I call pussy, man. I, man I, for me to be absurd, man, I feel real bad, bro. Bro, can you chill, bro? I feel real bad. Bro, can you chill, though? You must be what I said I was in the Marine. Really? You ain't trying to embarrass me in front of these people, bro. bro. You embarrass yourself, bro. You embarrass yourself and you, and you embarrass your branch, the military. No, you embarrass me in front of this young lady. I will expose you, bro. Believe that. You, you will be exposed for the day. Not only will us three know, you gonna know. Ma, my man right here, and, he and me. And the police on here and tell him to get out. Please, tell him to get out, please. Who ain't gonna? I am. Can you tell him to get out with his plate? Because he's he, he trying to expose me. Well, if he didn't come in here and say that you were a part of the... Uh, What's the dog tag say? Say that you served to protect our country when you actually really did not. If you wanted a 10% or a discount, all you had to do was come and talk to me. You didn't have to put on no front about none of that. You ain't got a lot of tickets. You can't tell him to leave, though. No. Sir, can you call the police and tell them leave or something? Are you ready to This drunk Karen was making a scene at the drive-thru, screaming at the guys. But here's the kicker. The guys on the receiving end are having a blast, turning the whole thing into a comedy R with Karen as the star. You laughing now? Keep f***ing laughing, bro. You want to know why? You want to know f***ing why? Oh my god, keep and laughing, hanging out with rich white kids, and that's your problem. And that's your problem. Oh, na 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 fing na. That is your motherfucking problem. That you're no fing you. Oh, I'm getting you f***ed out. You little millennials sitting here videotaping my. How old are you? Oh my god. You're so. You little millennials. You is the best thing that just hit the f joint, dude. You. This wasted old Karen in the store shoved an infant out of her way. When the dad confronted her about this insane behavior, she tried to hit him. Finally, a cop showed up, and Karen couldn't believe she was under arrest for an assault. 
She tried to resist the officer's order, but the cop quickly put her in her place. Oh, are you still following me? Oh yeah, I'm waiting for the cops, you drunk fool. You f oh, leave you, me alone. You shoved a baby. You Who shoved an infant. I did not. You did too. I got it all on video, you idiot. My wife's right there. You shoved an infant. Sorry, it's too bad. It's it's 12 o'clock noon on the dot, and you're drunk. You. Yeah, real classy piece of work. I bet your kids and grandkids are proud. Hey. Because you're obviously a f home. Yeah, and you're drunk. I don't care. You don't care. Oh, Some asshole. Yeah. Yeah, you had to open your big fat mouth and shove a child. Prove it. Prove it. Perfect. I got three witnesses. Good for you. And I'm going home. You're going home. You're going to the. You're going to the police station, my friend. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. You shoved. And you're a, not my friend. You shoved Don't a child. Don't ever say that to me. You're drunk, and now you're trying to swing at me. You're drunk. I'm Sorry. Swing at you. Yeah, go ahead. Try again. What's in your fucking business? You're drunk, and you shoved my child. You stupid. My business. I don't give a f what you say. You're drunk at 12 o'clock noon and you shoved an infant. That's why the cops are coming. What did I do? You shoved an infant child in a carrier and then threatened to, er, and then tried to punch me on video. I didn't do this. No, don't Let's take go. me down. Ow, ow. This racist Karen was harassing a couple who were just trying to fish. She was all nosy, demanding to know where they live, as if it's any of her business, and throwing around threats to call the cops. What, what's your address? Why do I have to tell you my address? Hey, déjala tranquila, mija. Ignórala, ignórala. You don't have to. Ignórala. Okay, ya. Deja ya tranquila. Do whatever you want. Fine, I will. Thank All you. All right, thank you. You don't live here. You shouldn't be oh fishing here. Oh my God. No. Oh my God. No. You shouldn't be fishing here. You don't live here. Get the f out. Do you know what that means? Look Get the f casa. Mira, mira. No, mira, mira, mira. You speak English. You stupid. You, know, you, you stupid. Cuban. You know I speak English. Both of you. Get the f out. You don't live here. This is for residents only. Okay. You want to come in here and fish? Okay. Go fish somewhere else. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. No, okay. Okay, me he does. I'm going to call the police right now. You you don't live here? Neither one of you. Look at you laughing. Stupid. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at me. What? What are you? Black or white? Does it matter? It, it matters. Oh, really? I'm going to get the police. Go get the police. I am. You do that. You don't live here, baby. This stupid whore here. No, it's yeah. Cuban. Eres una puta. Eres una puta. Cubans are nothing but piece of shit. Racista, racista. Ya sé cómo me tengo tú. Peste boyo que debe tener el boyo ese. Oye, cállate la boca tú, pendeja. ¿Qué te vas a hacer? Sí, 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 sí. See. Go ahead. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Then touch you me. get out of here. Get out of touch, here. Touch me one more time. Get out of I here. I dare you to touch me one get more time, lady. I dare you to put your get hands on me here. one more time. Get out of here. You're in front of my face. Do you, get you the live fuck here? Out. Do you live here? You don't. Do oh you live my here? God, the alcohol in this breath. That's for real. Oh, I should honestly. You know what? I should call the cops for yeah, harassment. You, you know what? Oh no. This paranoid male Karen goes bonkers at the counter because a guy stands next to him in line. He creates a whole scene, making a big fuss and telling the guy to step back. Sir, what the f*** are you doing? Filming you, acting like a monkey. What? Can you stand back? No, I'm just asking, he just came right and stood up to me like this. I said just, I asked him politely to stand back, that's all. And he's creating a fight. I just asked him to stand back. He came standing really close to me. 
Okay. I asked him politely, and then he's uh -huh. becoming very aggressive. <laughs> he just told me I'm acting like a monkey. Well, you you created that situation. Bro, listen. You created that situation. Bro, I don't even listen, know. don't Yo, don't pull, raise your I'm hand not even at me. That type of person, bro. So don't. don't even, don't okay, even so do you're that, threatening bro. me now. What, bro? Are you threatening me? You said what? Are you threatening me? Is he tripping? So this male Karen at the restaurant didn't get a refund, so he decides to take matters into his own hands and steals money from the tip jar. So to get this right, you're not gonna remake my coffee, right? The coffee's done here like you asking me. That's not you how you asking me like. And even she heard me wrong and she refuses nah, to make my coffee. Nah, I, I don't. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get my refund right here. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Give my money back. Oh no. Give my money back. Then give me my money back. You stole my tip. And okay. You I did. Stole you stole my tip? I sure did. Because she won't give me my refund. So I got my yeah. refund. Let me actually make sure to see if this is all my refund. So she might owe me one with a dollar. You, you didn't even make oh, that much tip. I hope you I hope you I do. And I'm a recorder. You stole my tip. I did. And that she stole my money. No, I don't you stole see my this? money. I made your pop like you You see this? Me. I didn't make it. Uh -huh not at all okay. when the new neighbors made a little noise while moving in the early morning karen couldn't handle it she started throwing racial slurs left and right you're moving because it's illegal at this hour please record your moving furniture record your man record your man moving furniture hang on i'm gonna get my camera to record you on your robe good okay go ahead but you've been screaming since what time Haven't? you just moved in you're the one screaming right you now. You just moved scene. in. You're the one screaming, a scene. Yeah, you're the you one that had the police. The making a scene, dude. I'm going to find out where you work, and you're going to lose your job where for I saying that. Me, I get paid by the government. Yeah, baby. You can't say that word. Really? <gasps> dude, you're a dude, honey. Oh, my God. Do you think because oh you're not brown, God. you're on What the f*** is wrong with you? Oh, waking me up at 4? No, I'm sorry, 3.30? Yeah. Hang on, I got to Good, call him. Are you getting in your car drunk, bro? Or are you just high on meth? High on meth? That's you. You're the one with no teeth. The neighborly drama hit a new low when this racist Karen had no problem using the N-word on her neighbors over some truck in the driveway. Neighbor. Yeah, you live no, right no, here. No, 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 no. You say I'm Shelly. not your neighbor. We have a trailer coming in. I'm not your in. neighbor. You just live there. You're not my neighbor. These are my neighbors because I like them. You're not my neighbor. You're on okay. my sh list. And I'm warning you, I'm not somebody to have on your list. And you're on my sh list. And if you think I'm gonna have a f or tell me he's not moving off my driveway, well, think I I you, can't, you, that you, cannot, you, you can't use that language. I can use the word goddamn mother. You're harassing us now. You're harassing us. No, really? You're did harassing I touch him? Did I assault him? Did I hurt him? Yes, that's an insulting Good, the cops are coming. Tell him I called y'all. What the I, I didn't call y'all. I called you that cannot nigger. say that. I will move Listen, this truck right now for your trailer. I can't say. No. Please bring it to me in writing. I will move the truck okay. right now. Do you need it now? He, move. He, he, he's sitting in a store. He can't even come here. Since eight oh five, he can't come to my house. Say, Shelly, move it, and we will. We need Listen, the trailer to come in. I tried in. to talk to you. Did I not? You tell told you me about my fence. Ago, did I not tell you? Have her go to the house so I can talk to you peacefully. Did I not say that? You told her to go did away. I you were rude to you my mom. Have, and then you started mom, talking about my fence. Did, you can't put up fencing. You can't but put all up I a need to know Listen, is that you have a trailer coming through. Hold on. You can't put up fencing. You can't put up a greenhouse. You can't put up ex, ex, new fencing. You can't use this easement as a major road without that's, going to the variance board for zoning. That's aside from the matter that you have a you trailer that needs to come to your driveway. You twice to come. He took pictures of you twice. That's fine. He took to all you got to do is communicate. Say, you move can't the truck. With her. You can't with I her. was right here and you wanted to talk about fencing. I asked you to make her go to the house so I could talk to you peacefully. About, Did I not? About fencing. I had no. Why? I, why? I, I told you, you want to talk about fencing? I got to unload a shut, truck. This is your problem. You don't shut the up. I told her, go to the house so I can talk to you peacefully. You would, you refused to. She grabbed your arm and took you like a rag doll away from me because she didn't want you talking to me. Because you were yelling about my fence. I have a right to what you're doing. That's fine, illegal. but I need to help you so that you can get your trailer you in. To help. Listen, I'm, I don't need help. Trust me, honey. I don't need help. You need me to I get out of your way. You need me to get out of your way. 
That's what I need. Just try. I want to get out of your way. I just need to know when. It. Now. How okay. Now? How okay. Now? Okay. How okay. Now? There you go. Right now. We're making That's all we need. This crazy guy at work loses it when a lady accuses him of spitting in her drink. He's had enough and just flips her off. This is Duncan's service. Really? Hey, hey, hey this is white people. Do they this just we spit? spit? A little baby drink. You can see it because they thought it was mine. No, no. You sound ignorant as Yeah, yeah. we poured all that. You. That's cool. Yeah. We'll see how long you keep your job. Hey, you hear me? I don't care, girl. I'm balling. You think I care about this job? I'm here for You look like you're balling working at Dunkin' Donuts, I bro. I bet you do. Hey, you can re record this. I am. I got, I, it's all on here. Don't touch my car. Why don't you get back in the window, sir? Or what? What you gonna do? I'm gonna call the cops anyway. Call them. Yeah. I will. I'll let them know you spit in my drink, and then this is the service that we get. We did not spit in your. I didn't even make the I drink. I took we a picture and a video of the drink. That you white, you just like the. Like and you're people. racist. You white. You're racist. I hey, I got, I got so many employees in here. We didn't even spit on your drink. We got cameras. We didn't even really. Spit on your drink. The, the cops will look at them then. That's fine. Like the people, black people. That's all you. You're hear. racist, no, not you're me. Racist. That, let me shut up. Exactly. Let you shut up. This entitled Karen loses it at the drive-thru over a car parked too close. Then she takes it up a notch by shaming the workers for not having money. What is the problem? They, they park here. I couldn't get into my car. I had, had to, to climb, climb over. My seat because they and then so when we were close. talking about it, about how close they parked, she came and went, Oh, you stupid ass. You want to talk? And, wrong. Yeah, I told you my boyfriend did not hit your car because she you said if my boyfriend hit your car, you were... Fat, fat Sorry guys, can we just end this, please? Yeah, they, yeah, they leave our leaves. I have to wait for my brother to be done in the bank. And my boyfriend has to go into the bank. Like your boyfriend has any money. My boyfriend has a job, do you? Car. You ain't got no money. My boyfriend has a lot more money than you. Yeah, I wish. You wish. Or else you wouldn't be wearing those ugly ass clothes. <laughs> Where would I, I feel like? Up. Stop arguing with the stupid <laughs> If you keep arguing, <laughs> they keep arguing with you. Don't worry. She's gonna post that video and then I'm gonna have her arrested. Go ahead, you don't even know my name. Yeah, well. This male Karen at the gym was trying to be all macho, having a heated argument with the manager about not wearing a mask. We're pretty much verbally oh, abusing us and threatening us right now, so. I, I tried to keep my mask on if you were here earlier and you weren't making a song. Like right oh, now I'm talking. Oh, that was the far comment. Are you so stupid that what I say goes in and out? What do you say? It was, was all and I wasn't dealing with. It. You're not gonna do. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm about to start you on you because you're a joke. Go over there. Go over there. I'll go over there. When you go over there, it's always been that way. Listen, if I did want to do something, you wouldn't be able to do shit. That's the thing. That's why you're fucking deluded because you're literally serving no purpose other than to raise the situation. That's what you're doing. If you had any kind of intelligence, you would know that that's not the smart thing to do because you're serving no purpose. Your physical prowess is not going to be effective. This Karen in the restaurant was harassing a worker, asking for a refund. But things got wild when some other customer came in, defending the worker and putting the Karen in her place. Excuse me, ma'am, lady, we're trying to eat, please. So I want my money back. That's good, but can you do that outside while we get ours, please? Okay. Thank you. I want my money back. Okay, I want my money. Outside. You can put me outside. I can get my money? I'm sorry, but you already ate half of it. No, I can not get half of it. That much. Excuse me. I didn't get my money go. back. Hey, no, what? Give me my money back. Give me my money back. You're me. I'm sorry. I should give my money back. I don't do it. I'm a noodle. I ate that much. Give me my money okay, back. You know
male Karen was clueless, thinking a private store was public property. He started filming a worker who begged him not to, but nope, he kept harassing her, recording away, and wouldn't leave the store when he got kicked out. Tell me what I can do with my phone. You got me messed up. This lady trying to tell me I can't record. Then you can't stop me from recording, lady. You cannot stop me recording. You can't. You can't. You can't do nothing about me recording. I record you. You in public. You in public. You in. Hey, you in public. I record. This lady trying to tell me I can't record. I can record if I want to, lady. Hey, don't, don't touch my phone. Don't, don't touch my phone. personal get, property. Get away from me. Well, you came to me. You came to me. Get him away. Security, get this man You came to me. Store. You can't get push me out the store because I'm recording, lady. Keep your hands off my property. Stop. Look, you getting recorded. Yeah, he's recording. This lady trying to tell me I can't record her. She need to learn a little more about the law. You have to go. They want you to go. You have to go. Okay, well, she can't tell me I can't record. I ain't doing nothing wrong. They don't like it. It don't matter what they don't like. This lady here is the one that's trying to get me kicked out. Yeah. Yeah, these people here trying. Don't touch my property. Don't touch my property. I'm going, don't touch my property. Can't tell me I can't record. They, don't, they need to learn the law. Because I'm recording what them people doing. They trying to tell me I can't record. They going to kick me out of the stuff. Now these people over here, they they the ones with the problem. Now she gonna tell me I'm too close to her, but she came to me. Then you gonna touch my phone? I'm over here. No, they can't touch phone. No, they came in. She grabbed my phone. I got. I'm gonna get her name. Cause that's assault. She, I'm gonna teach her about recording. I'm gonna teach her about recording. I got her face. I'm gonna get her name. I'm gonna grab my phone. I got it on, on recording, and she grabbed my phone. She, she need to learn the law, because she's going to find out today. Yeah, she grabbed my phone. Yeah, she can't grab it, and they're going to put her hand up on my face, or almost touch me. What store number is this? He said the reason they're kicking you out the store is because you don't need to be. He said not because you recorded. That's what she said. She said because. But she grabbed my phone. That was the problem. 
She got up in my face and grabbed my phone. The lady that worked here. Now, the, the reason why I'm getting kicked out of the store is because she got mad because she got my face. And I told her, you need to back up. You can't stop me from recording. I didn't do nothing wrong. I was way back away from the incident that was happening. And she came to me and then told me to get out of her face. You know, and then after she grabbed my you phone. No, 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 that's, sir. If you in public, you can be recorded. Yeah, you can record it. So it don't matter about recording people. I was recording the incident that was happening. Oh, okay. That, that's, that's totally different. That's that was, I wasn't recording the, I was recording the incident that was happening. That's oh, okay, it. Okay, okay. In other words, in other words, what they're trying to say, you recording the, something like a, a sex of really, you know, uh, anybody. No, that's, she, recording. she came over and told me I couldn't be recording. Period. Well, you can record what I don't know. You can record the right thing. Yep. Exactly. And she don't have no right to come up to me and grab my phone. You know? So, all I'm saying is, you know, what store number is this? Where? It's off a Rowland. Oh, Rowland store. All right, appreciate you, man. I'm going to get her name, too. Because she dead wrong. This drunk Karen got denied boarding at the airport, and instead of owning up, she goes crazy, starts filming the staff like she's the one being wrong. Jerry, Jerry. <laughs> Why is she filming her? What is she doing? What is she doing? <laughs> the cashier did? Yeah. Oh. Say it again. Say it again. Say it. Say it. I heard it. I heard it. I heard it. Say it again. Now say it again. Oh, it's security. Look at this dude. Look at this. 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 Look at Anyone else here touch me? Tell her to say it again. Say what? Karen went nuts because her neighbor was mowing the lawn. She had the audacity to harass the poor guy who was just minding his own business. Supposed to mow it? You think this is funny? There are snakes in there. Scott, is this funny to you? Well, I'm glad it is. I'm glad this is so amusing to you. Do you want to live next door to be and be civil and to be a kind human being or to be an asshole and sit there and smirk and film me? Is that what you want? Can you not talk to me? I'm sorry, but I have nothing to say to you. I'm over here minding my business, trying to take care of this property. And you come out here. Taking care of this property, and that's what I've asked you about. Why haven't you've you? come out here cussing at me, talking to me? Cussing. I don't even know you. I know you don't because you haven't taken the time to know me. I'm sorry, but I work every day, so I don't have you to stop by. I don't have to come back here and talk to you or see you or get to know you or anything. It's very rude and inconsiderate of you letting this grow up like this. The lie has been cut, as you see. Yeah, Let me put it on camera. Why I've had to call the city uh, department. No, the lie has been cut because somebody came out and cut it. Yeah, they cut it because I called and complained. You're in the city limits here. You, you are not allowed to let it grow up. 
Okay. Do you want to buy it? You can buy it. I'd be gladly to sell it to you. I can sell it to you. Oh, it's well. a landfill. You got sucker, buddy. And they didn't tell you that, did they? Okay, anything else you would like to add? I'm trying to get to work here before the, you know, it's hot out here. So what are you doing exactly, if I can ask? I'm taking care of the property here. I, I know you said that, but what are you doing killing the, the grass? I'm taking care of the property here. You don't mind? I would like to get back to I work. Don't mind at all. And I'm all right, thank you. The mail lady has already ran before I got here, and I won't be here before she come back. It's okay. It's all right. All right. Thank you. Some people don't have nothing else to do. Sorry, I just to get off so start with Check this out. Karen thought she found an easy target harassing a dude for skating. Little did she know the guy was a pro at dealing with Karen's and put her in her place. Live here? Yes, I ain't got a lease to stay here. A lease agreement. I don't have a lease agreement. I don't know, do you? Oh, exactly. You don't f know. So mind your f business. Go sit the f down. I told you, it's like in your you can't ride a skateboard. But guess what the f I'm gonna do? I'm gonna step on this and I'm gonna ride that motherfucker. Suck my d The male Karen worker racially profiles a guy and calls the cops on him for being suspicious. But guess what? The guy doesn't let it slide. He confronts the worker, calling out his racist behavior right there. I'm sorry, uh, can you explain one more time why you're telling me to leave? Yeah, the security guard said that, uh, I'll turn my camera on to you. Yeah, okay. So the security guard said he, he, I don't know why he does not want you here, so we can go talk to him if you want to. Yeah, let's go talk oh, to him. No, wh wh how did you approach me at first, though? Wh what did you say? I said, what's up, man? No, you didn't. What did you say? I said, hey, what's up, man? No, no, what's the first thing you said? I don't know. You said, hey, man, you gotta go. And then I said, why? No, I said, hey, what's up, no, man? You, you got hey. to record it? Yeah. I got I to gotta record it yeah. as well. Uh, what, what was just, that? You just walking around. I don't know what, you, what you're looking for. What do you mean you don't know what I'm looking for? Uh, I'm yeah. clearly looking for something. Well, what are you That's, looking? Is there a problem with me walking around? Yeah, if you look suspicious, yeah. What, what about me look suspicious? I mean, you just walking around. I'm walking around. I'm literally walking around. I'm literally walking around. So, uh, I'm looking for a specific cat food. I'm looking for... A uh, lint roller, and I'm looking for uh, a suit that I want. A suit? And I'm also looking around for stuff that I want to get. I got a flight tomorrow, and I'm looking for shit I could travel with. I, want somebody to help you. I don't need help. Okay. Who are you looking for? Let's go talk to somebody because I come in here every day. I live right down the street. You want to see my uh, address? Yeah. You want to know where I live? Yeah. You want to see where I live too, right? Okay. Yeah. You're just choking up right now. You mm -hmm. feel this? It's two blocks away. Hey, do I come in here a lot? Do you recognize me? Yeah, I come in here every night. Okay. And you're saying I look suspicious? And you're telling this, you're telling this cop here? You're telling this cop? I'm pretty sure there's a lot of things you could be doing right now. Yeah. But you got him specific, uh, no, asking me. He was here already. And you're telling him I'm suspicious? When you're walking around going you look suspicious watching me as I'm trying to shop. I'm doing my job. You're not doing a good job at it. Now tell me why I look suspicious. You're just walking around and you're not buying like This cop is on a total power trip, harassing a dude who is literally just minding his own business and trying to do his laundry. You can go see, yeah.
What did he do right now? You guys were we've been here watching you guys do this right now, and you guys just, he just came running up at him right now. That's not cool. No, I know, but he wait, what did he what did he do that for? Now you're gonna, when I leave, you're gonna pull me over, right? I didn't tell you, I didn't tell you. Okay, then that's what you're gonna do, right? Then I'll go stay. Are you gonna pull me over? Why are you gonna pull me over? You just stop being right Well, man to man, right? But what? You're acting like you're hitting me up. You're hitting me up. Babe, just give him your name. Me up, bro. You're hitting me up. That's Babe. Name. Just give him, just give him your name. I can't give him my name. Okay, so what? Okay. 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 Screw that. I just don't, I, I can sneeze this. That's what I'm saying. I'm doing my laundry, bro. You can just talk to me, man to man. Just relax, you, babe. You, you can go next to them, bro, but I'm doing my laundry. And if you want to start rapping, you can go ahead. Quit crying. Sorry, babe, babe, babe. Just listen. Let him, let him harass. Let him harass. It's okay. What? No, no, he wasn't doing nothing. That's not cool. That's not cool. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll catch you guys later. Have a great night, guys. Yeah, you go ahead and f***ing threaten me, bro. It's all good. It's all on camera. Don't threaten you. Don't threaten you. Karen chugged half a Tropicana, then tried a scam a refund by claiming it didn't taste sweet and was expired, even though the date was nowhere near. When the worker said no, she lost it, going nuts trying to get a refund. It's expired. That's why it's not sweet and spiked. It's not expired. Wait, is it expired? It's not sweet. I tasted it. Don't it expires it March 20th, 2014. I don't care. It doesn't taste sweet. It's not sweet. I'm sorry. We can't help you. There's no refunds. Refunds? And what is it? All is about money in America, about money. I want another juice. It's not sweet. Give me, give me a fresh, a sweet juice. That's fresh. We just it's got... not. It's not sweet. I don't know what to tell you. It's fine. How do you know it's fun? Did you taste it? No. It, 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 it's not it's so sweet. Why put the expired juice on the show? What do you get it's not it's, it's not expired. It is expired. I don't believe these numbers. I don't believe these numbers. I don't you can it. call the company and complain to them, but we're not replacing it. What company? God, I have what company? You fed, fed so company. Okay, you can leave now. Take your juice and go. Why should I take my juice? Give me sweet juice. No. I take my money. Why steal my money? Only fucking thieves in this, in this town. Okay, go. Leave. Or you call the cops. Or call the cops. Okay. You call the cops. I'm not scared of you. You can escape with the cops. It's not sweet. Carpet. Only fucking cunt. All right, you can go. Please leave. I'm not going. Give me sweet juice. No, leave. Yes. Ferris. Don't stare at me. I hate fat big men. Okay, All of you fine. pigs. Don't stare at me. If you stare at me, you have to be cute. I hate fat pig men and I hate Mexican. All of you fucking <laughs> <laughs> All right, leave. <laughs> what should I leave? Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. This Karen was causing a scene at the drive thru giving the worker a hard time and demanding a refund for a lousy coffee. This is what they gave me. I knew it wasn't right. Supposedly a mocha cappuccino. Disgusting. Probably wasted about an hour now at this point. Manager didn't even offer me a refund. Now they're all scattering. She's laughing. Here, I got a gift card. Okay, I just wanna show you. Yeah. This is, and I'm videotaping this because it's disgusting. Literally, yeah, straight chocolate. Like that's, you yeah, can see it, it's disgusting. That's not a mocha cappuccino. Like really, it's stuck at the bottom of the cup. A mocha cappuccino is not that. Okay. Is it a, fra you want a frappuccino? No, I wanted a mocha cappuccino. I do want a frappuccino now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, yeah, yeah. I know I can yeah, taste yeah. that right right while I'm here and yeah, not have to worry about yeah. it. Yeah. I got you, here's your, this is a $10 gift card. For and then what do you want, a mocha frappuccino? Uh, yeah, okay, and I sure. want my money back. Yeah, yeah. So is this $10 for my experience and my gas, or? Yeah, yeah. And then this is okay. Okay. I'm going to refund you for this right here. You do realize I've probably spent an hour right now. I know, I'm very sorry. Right. You seem really sorry. Karen at the store got all offended because the worker called out her odor. The worker was just saying it like it is, but Karen thinks he's trying to insult her. Right. Um, there, is, there's an issue of an order. An order? Order. Well, I don't have an owner. I don't. 
I don't. So I know you're trying to be insulting, but I don't no, have an odor. I don't have an odor. So I don't have an odor. No, I don't. No, Actually, I don't. I think you're. I think you're just trying to be insulting. I no, think you're no, being a professional. No. Actually, you're not because I've never even really interacted with you directly. And if oh, you've got no. somebody else saying that I have an odor, I no. don't. Actually, I think you're being. You're I'm trying to be right insulting. To me that I Actually, I don't have an odor. Yeah, I don't so have an odor. So what you're trying to do? But here's the thing, though. Are you trying to ban me from the store? I'm not trying to ban you from the store. I'm just trying to say you can't come back and still you take care of me. Well, I don't have an odor. So why don't we? Why don't we do this? Why don't you make a note that you're saying that I have an odor, okay. which is not true. Okay. But I think you're trying to be insulting, I'm and I think you're, you are. You no, are. You are. But it's okay though. But I don't have an odor. So are you telling me that I'm banned from the store because of your perceived odor? I think you're. I think you're being unprofessional. I think you're lying. But it's okay. I'm not trying to okay. insult you. But here's the thing. I know you're trying to be insulting, no, really but you're not. You are. You I'm are. Really Actually, you are. But it's okay. Actually, you're copying off of something that's in the news story cycle. But it's okay. But here's the thing. I don't have an odor, but actually you're trying to be insulting. And if you're telling me that I can't come back into your store because of your perceived odor, I think that maybe what you're doing again is you're trying to create a problem for your customer. No, I think that's really all that no, it is. Not. So here's the thing. I don't have an odor. Yeah. I know I don't. So here's the thing. Okay. And if you're saying that again, and if you're trying to say that maybe somebody else is telling you that mm -hmm. too, that's not true. So are you saying that somebody else tells you that too? I've lined up multiple people. Okay. I think you're, I think you're not being multiple, honest. Multiple customers. It's okay yeah. though, but I think you're not being honest and I think you're being really immature and petty. But here's the thing. I think you're trying to be insulting, but uh, you're not. I'm not insulting. But if it were true, again, you could say that about very many customers here again as well. But here's the thing. I don't have an odor, but I think you're trying to be insulting and that's okay. So are you banning me from your store based on your perceived perception about again my hygiene? I think you are. And I think I think that your customers also again as well. Don't worry, I'm not recording you with my phone. I think your customers again are actually again trying to be provocative too. So if you're saying that you've had people tell you that I have yes. an odor in here, yes. that's not true. Multiple times, um, I just didn't want to approach you about it. No, you deal. should. No, here's it's the thing though. Deal. But here's the thing. If you mm. feel that way, if that's what you believe, if that's what you want to say, that's mm. fine. But I think that you're actually just trying to be insulting. And I think you're trying to be pejorative. And that's okay. I'm not offended because I know it's not true. Mm. So here's the thing. Getting down to the practicality okay. of coming to your business. Okay. When you're saying that there's an odor, there's not. So here's the thing. I'm not offended by that. I know you would like that to be true, but it's mm. not to be true, but it's not. So here's the thing. You're trying to be offensive and I've come in here before mm. and you haven't said anything before. So now, most here's the thing, but here's the thing though. The it's so okay, but let's press the issue. Blocked, no, but it's okay though, but here's the thing. Here's the thing though, but here's the thing. But here, there is not, there's not an order. So you say you, you say you never had an order before? There's been an order before, not to the point where I would have had to actually But I think you're lying. It's okay though, I'm not accusing you of, I'm not trying to be, I'm not harassing you at your job. I know that you're trying to harass me, but it's okay. But here's the thing. You're trying to be offensive. You're trying mm -hmm. to be insulting. You know that. I know that. I'm not offended by that. You can say anything from whatever you want to say. You can say aggressive or whatever. That's not true. But here's the thing. In your store, you've got a whole lot of other elements that occurs. And mm -hmm. I think that if you're saying that people are telling you that I have an odor, mm -hmm. which is not true, yeah. that could be a perfume, an aroma, an essence. Mm -hmm. Maybe they don't like my perfume. I don't wear perfume. But here's the thing. You're trying to be insulting. You're trying to be pejorative. It's not true. But here's the thing. You're getting to the point where you're trying to ban a customer from your store, from your perception. So maybe your olfactory senses are off, but it's unprofessional. And also you're trying to be really petty because you have a history of that kind of behavior. But if you just don't want a customer anymore, go through your process and ask your again employer if you want to ban a customer for a legitimate reason, which is not for again, perceived body odor. Mm. I don't have a hygiene issue. I'm not even defensive about it. I'm not even offended by it, mm. but I know you're trying to be pejorative. So do you have honey packets? I do. You want to give me some honey packets or no? Uh, today no. Okay, so you don't want to give me honey packets today because of what? The issue is the odor. Okay, it's I not an odor. I don't have an odor, but here's the thing, I'm not even okay, offended so by that. We're not going to go back and forth about this. We're not, but we want to clear about what you're saying, what you're trying to ban a customer. So here's the thing, the you want to... For the day. No, that's not... Why day. don't you call the police and we're going to make a report so that you can tell okay. the police again exactly okay. why you want to ban a okay. customer. Crazy. Mr. Karen stormed in to defend his wife and started harassing a poor guy who was chilling in his car, waiting for his apartment to get ready. Karen got all triggered and went on a rant about it being a private road. Hey, bud, what, what kind of business you got here? I have work right down the road. I just can't park on the street. I'm waiting you, for the homeowners to go seat. wherever you're supposed to be and park. So if you there's get a pro off of this street, it's not a public street. And, call and the I appreciate you not talking to my wife like you talked yeah, to her. She was rude. I was rude back. You, you oh, get, you're from Texas, you me this, as well. You take this truck and you go to wherever you're going to be going because this is private property. Call the police then. You got it. I'm sitting on the street waiting for uh, my appointment to be ready. And these crazy people out here get his face in there. This Karen at the airport thought she could give a cop the same treatment as drive through workers. But reality hit hard when they ganged up on her and cuffed her. No. Yeah, this is on you. 
No, I did not cause a disturbance. They told me I was an idol. All right, give me my share. I didn't do This Karen puts a flower pot right in front of the neighbor's door, making it impossible to open without hitting it. And when asked to move it, she goes all defensive and starts screaming at the neighbor. Don't touch my stuff. Stop don't at me. touch my stuff. Do you want me to call the cops? I don't care I don't who you call, call, call brat. Don't touch my stuff. Because I'll come out here and touch all this crap. Don't, I don't touch your stuff. Right, don't touch the cops. This is you it. Don't I'm done. Own this property. Janice, we had a conversation it. about that being in the way. I don't though. care. You Claire know has mobility my issues, though. Mobility, my butt. She's not in a wheelchair. That doesn't mean anything. She uses care. a cane. I don't care. Don't touch it. Okay. She don't uses touch it. a cane. Don't touch it again. You start a war with me. Don't a touch war? it. A war? What does that mean? Don't touch it. It doesn't belong to you. Oh, uh, you're I right. I don't touch your stuff. You're right. But you we don't ask... own this. I don't own this. So where I put you my plans is my choice. I right, don't but we anything. can't get in the hear. door. I don't want to talk to you. But we can't open the door Yes, all you the way. can. No, we can't. Every person that has lived here. I don't care door, what every person has well, done. I don't care either. That makes two of us. Don't touch it. Because if you do, it's going to be, it's, I'm going to get even. I'm just telling you. You're going to get even? You know it. I say don't touch it. I'm asking you. What does that do mean? Not touch, you, I'm telling you what it means. Don't You're going to get even because we're trying stuff. to move your don't plant because it's in the stuff. way? Just don't touch my stuff. I don't touch you. You want to get even because we want to move your plant because it's in the way. No, it's not in the way. It is this in the is way. This is in the way. This would Janice, be in the way. please. That's ridiculous. No, of course it's in the way. That's don't in front of the door. Of course it's in the way. Of course. So it's not in the this way. Is, yes, it is. This it's is in the way also. You know what, This ladies, is in the way I'm also. Not, I don't want to discuss nothing with you guys. Just don't touch it. The hotel staff did his best to sort out a room cleaning issue and also apologize to Karen. But she just kept pressing his buttons, refusing to let it go. The issue, I am going to get to the bottom of this and resolve the issue for you and your family. I want you to be the happiest you can so you hear. You say you're going to see what I'm going to do. Yes. I'm leaving to go do that because I want your family to be happy. Okay, so then you don't have here. to act that strange with me when I'm asking you to leave this till you resolve it. And I'm saying again, I'm not acting strange with you. Once you said this wasn't yours and this garbage. I, I know, but I just wanted you to leave it here. Till you resolve it, right? And then take the garbage. So then I work for you is what I'm no, saying. You, I, I work for the hotel. You said this I is know garbage you. and it's not yours. I know, but I'm there's a lot of garbage here, sir. If you take all the garbage, I'm going to be okay with it. But if you're taking the can that was left in the room and the room was not cleaned properly, I want you to leave this can here and take it when you resolve the issue. This is a, a resolved issue, right? You said this was garbage and I'm taking out a resolved issue so right this now. Is, this is a resolved issue? This is how you resolve no, issues? This is like you I'm leave the garbage here. Resolve. You leave the garbage here when I check into the room. What garbage? This garbage. You, you, okay, I'm taking the garbage out. Yes, no, no, you don't take the garbage out just like that. You should have kept the room clean. My logic is that if this was left in my room, I don't know if the sheets are clean, I don't know if the towels were clean, or they just look spotless and they were not clean and I'm going to resolve that issue for you. So why don't you just leave this here, resolve See, listen, it? Listen, I'm, I'm gonna leave the can here. Okay. For one. For two, if you tell me that you need me to resolve something and I'm trying to, now you're stopping me from resolving the issue that- I don't think you need to take the can to resolve the issue. It's a start. This is a start. You said this was garbage and it wasn't yours, so I'm, t I'm removing it from the, for the room, because you say it's not nobody in your family. And this is, this is you resolving going, the issue? No, it's the start. And I'm going to come back as a worker here and finish on the resolving the issue that's going to make your family happy. I'm not here. There's not an argument or debate. I'm here to make you guys happy. I'm here to resolve all the issues. You say your carpet was dirty. I mean, why? You say your sheets, are, you might not be dirty. I'm going to take care of all of that for you and your family. To make the so rest you, of your stay I here. have to make four phone calls and come down twice to the front desk in order to get an issue a resolve of this garbage being there. And all you do to resolve the issue is pick up the garbage and just leave. 
Uh, well, so I, that, I mean, if I want to really report about this, I really cannot. Well, you, you can, because I'm here. I'm not going to lie about you. Well, you're you here because can, I called. I only, excuse The me. fifth time. Excuse me, and I'll say it again. I came to work at 3 o'clock. I was not here this morning. I'm talking I about have, the hotel. You work I, for the hotel, right? Have, I'm talking right. about the hotel. This morning, I was not at work. I'm here now trying to resolve issues. I can't resolve a morning issue if I wasn't here this morning. I'm trying to make your family... So basically, when somebody checks into your hotel, uh, if they have an issue in the morning, they have to wait till no, 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 people no. check in like at work. No, they do not. That's why I apologize for whatever it did. Mr. and Mrs. Karen got all riled up and started shouting at a guy who called him out for parking his car on the bike lane and blocking the sidewalk. Hello, please move. Please move, you're in the bike lane and blocking the sidewalk here. Hi. Yeah, you're blocking the bro, curb why cut here. Touching my car, bro? Because you're in my space, public Don't space. Don't touch my car, bro. Okay, move then. Don't touch my car, bro. Okay. Bro, what the f are you doing, bro? Please move. I want you to pull this or something? No, I'm Don't trying to. Don't touch my car no more then, bro. You tripping like what he did. with you, boy? Bro, you laughing like Hey, bro. Hey, bro, real loud, bro. Chill out, bro. Don't touch my car no more, nigga. I don't talk about none of that. Right, I bet you won't touch it no more. I bet you won't touch it no more. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. I, care, I, know, I, know. I bet you won't touch it no more. I'll just be annoying. I bet you won't touch it no more. Just don't touch my. Get in the car. Watch that. Don't be annoying, but don't, 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 don't ride up on my. You're in, you're in public space. You just rolled up and did like. Because it's the bike We're working. Hey, do about? I don't really care. Hey, what the fuck bro, you gonna do about? What? Real loud, bro. Nigga, you touch my car, right? Right? Get the f move. Just You're... come on. Come on. Hey, ho, for real, come bro. On. What you doing too much? Why you doing all that? Come on, not cause he. Cause it's not. Man, safe. I don't give a. F don't I'm working. Don't come up. I, man, I don't care. Cause they white, they can touch people. No, cause you're making it all day. I'm putting somebody in a wheelchair here. Working, nigga. Give a because shit! You're making it unsafe. You're making it unsafe. You white ass up. You think you can move out by doing that? Push in the car. Push. In the car, bro. In the car, bro. Uh, what is? Do it. I got a camera on, bro. You, you white. Your camera just recorded you pushing on my car. Right? Yeah, that's right. right. Guess what? So guess wrong. what? Guess you're what's wrong. more in danger? You're, you're not in danger. We pulled over to the side. Why you think? No, because you're blocking it. You're the curb cut for somebody you who's disabled, you, you dumb. <laughs> you're not you won't believe it. These girls were in shock when their grandma went absolutely nuts on a drive through worker. It was wild. Hey. 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 Hey, hey! Shoot the next time you talk that shit, I'ma beat talk. You rude, tall, ugly, Steven Seagal. Look at him. Karen's raising her daughters just like her. They accused this lady in the store of putting hands on her daughter. No proof at all, and went completely wild on her. Put your hands on a thirteen-year-old girl. Literally, she just. Hit us with her car, called me and the girls. Cuss. Is this a good show for you, sir? I'm sorry, but like, really? Really? That's and why. I got this guy over here who wants to. Let him be okay. okay, bro. Let him be okay, bro. Let me zoom in on you, too. You oh my god. This girl right here. This woman. You want to be okay? Right here. She attacked Brooklyn. She put her hands on me. I'm standing here videotaping her. These people are probably calling the cops, bro. Ryan, get over here at Michael. Call Gino, bro. Call Gino, Ireland. Ireland, call the cops right now. I don't even know if they call her. One of you can call me. Don't stop videotaping her. I already did, bro. Who cares? She wants a videotape letter. There you go. Those okay. are my glasses on the ground. My ripped up page picture that she ripped up. I'm about to f stomp on those glasses then. The f you put your hands on the you know, all you care about. Your $4,000 painting. She tried to hit me with her car with my daughters. 
And then she got out of the car and kept calling me a c And then um, he came into the store and she called the manager and then she attacked my 13 year old daughter and put her hands on her. And then my other daughter had to try to help her, her sister. And she was going after her too. No, I, I, no, I don't need an ambulance. Back up girls right now. This is why I asked you to please take this before she ripped it up. Karen gets all worked up in line because some lady complains about her talking too loud in the store. No, you have a problem. Somebody be talking and you taking all this conversation. Just leave me, leave me, please. First of all, you're real loud and clearly not. That's me. Clearly, you That's bad me. Bad. You, you want to tell me how to talk? Listen, you want to try and tell me how to talk? I'm not your child. I'm not your child. So don't try to tell me how to speak. But don't try to tell me how to speak. If I was doing something wrong, then you could have correct me and I'll take correction. But just leave me, let me be. Lady, leave me, let me be. Please. Please. Jesus Christ. Yes, and I'm going to still talk. Yes. It's going to make you unhappy until I finish. Oh, no. I'm going to make you very long with that because I'm not going to yeah, that's why he must me late and laid it out. <laughs> These movers thought they could hold people's belongings hostage just to squeeze some extra cash out of them. And to top it off, this guy had the audacity to close the truck with the person inside it. That's her stuff. That's her stuff. So you can't touch her stuff, right? I got the mattress. You don't lock her into a f***ing truck, you psycho. This male Karen was stubborn, hitting on a teen girl and wouldn't leave her alone even when she told him she's underage. What that mean? No, I'm underage. I'm underage. No, I said, how y'all doing? Don't worry about it. We're fine. We're Why good. you got an attitude like that? Because he already came up to me. Now you're coming up to me. I don't want to talk. Oh, you know what I mean? Came out here half dressed and nigga go and then I smack like that nigga don't talk to you. Merry Christmas, though. My bad. Yeah, why he ain't to you? You don't like black people? That's what it seems like. That, that is what yeah. it seems like. You don't like black people? You don't like black people? Hey, hey. I'll let you because your boyfriend will tell you. Uh, no, they're bad. They're bad. They ain't no bitches. No, they women. No, I can tell you. Y'all beautiful uh, women. Don't let him discourage y'all. I can tell by the nights, the dirty. Uh, one oh, he talking about your Nikes, baby. Yeah, her. Oh, he talking. I don't understand. I don't know why he's doing that y'all like that. You're old as f over here. I'm 15 years old. Leave me the f alone. That's that. Simple. I told you I'm underage. You don't say. Right. Yeah. yeah, goddamn. God damn. God damn, you're so aggressive. That I'm sorry. You expect me to put on right now? Yes. We ain't doing that either. We just come me. Say you were beautiful women. Ain't nothing wrong with that. And I said I'm not in the mood, so please don't. Yeah, mood, cuz. Sell A, cuz. Pay your ass back to your country. Sell A. We don't give a This guy defends his co worker from a male Karen who's harassing her for being an atheist. He doesn't let Karen get away with it. You better back off. I'm not backing up for nothing. Actually, I actually leave. So if you don't want to listen, that's all on you. I want you to call the police. No, I didn't call nobody. Why not? Because you need to get out. Be a bigger man, right? All Jesus, right? What? It's all Jesus, right? What does that mean? That means you need to go on about your day. Or you can just make 
the first movie, I guess. I don't know. Well, I'm not going to hit you, but if you... If you <laughs> I'm letting you me, know you need to go. Well, I want you to call the police. I know you do, because you're wasting time. What do you mean, wasting time? You see, we got all this order to put away? You're wasting time. I'm not, I'm not in your way putting away an order. But you're harassing my co-worker, so because I need to go. Because she's an atheist. I don't care. Are you an atheist? I don't care. I don't care if I'm gay. You just need to go back. Are you back. gay? It doesn't matter. If I suck that's my own business. Oh, my God. Right? Thank Listen, you. man. Thank you. Now go. You're disgusting. I love it. Now, you're a Peter Puffin, fudge-packing piece of garbage. Anything else? No, that's, uh, you're a back pocket because you like the Okay, you're broke as I'm care. broke as Look at that automobile, mother now, gas in it. I'm going to. I'm going to call the police myself. I'll call them. I will. Looking like a fool. You're looking like a I know. That's so, why I'm out here, right? What are you going to do? I'm out here, right? Are you going to attack me? I'm out here, right? I'm out here at my job. Like I said, if I was, if it was 8 o'clock, oh man, believe. Believe. Believe what? Believe. What? Oh my God, believe. What would you do? Oh, believe it. What? Try like to go this, down on me? <laughs> a lot of things. Like I said, you want to go? No, I'm going to call the police. Call them. Take your little fucking put inside. Puff and fudge pack a piece of garbage. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. And he wonders why we're not going to serve him nothing today. He wonders why he's not getting gas today. Oh, I'm getting gas. Not here. You want to bet on that? Yep. How much money do you have on you? All right, let's bet it. How much? Enough. I'll bet you a thousand dollars. All right, let's you do it. You got a thousand bucks? Do you have it? All right, I might have more than a thousand dollars. I have three dollars to get gas. Get some gas. Go, go, ask somebody for gas. Shut up. <laughs> I know. I hurt you your feelings. You have HIV blood. I know. You'll give me the whole Jesus. Thank you. This Karen takes crazy to a whole new level by using her door as a barricade to block this guy's car in the middle of the street. Get this pimp! Get this pimp! Oh, your door fell. Get out of here! Get out of my Your door fell. Get out of here! Get, get, you. Out, of, get out of my street! Get out of here! Police! police. This mother a pimp! Oh. Come here, there. Let's start hauling. God damn you! Don't put that by my car. You are gonna get your ass. Hey, what? Big what did you say? man, you better get what that. Did you, say? you better get that Let car. Let go. You better get that mother away mother from my mother car. You pimp. I'm a pimp you. Pimp. Get out of here. I'm a pimp your ass. I am not wearing your parka, huh? You Shut up. Shut up. Get out of your parka, huh? Get back! Hey! Son of a bitch and a bitch and a homicide, son of a bitch. Get out of here! You better move that goddamn. Inside. Hey, you better get that goddamn door away from my car. Wow, I didn't know saying hello could cause such a heated argument. But leave it to a ridiculous Karen to turn a simple greeting into a full blown drama at the store. Keep your cool, Karen, it's just a greeting. She couldn't hear, what you she were couldn't saying. hear you. Thank you. I'm yeah. sorry, I gotta protest. This is ridiculous. You. I, that's why, and then when you said it, I said hello. Right. That's why I said hello. Yeah. There was no attitude there at all, ma'am. And for you to say you're not going to check somebody out over their attitude, I'm, I'm not. I just said hello. I feel like you're being very rude. How am I trying to be rude? No. I couldn't hear, hear you at all. Honestly. I explained to you multiple times that this is card only. And then when you said that, I said I'm doing card and I got my stuff out to pack. But I, but I pulled my stuff out. I'm sorry, ma'am. First of all, first of all, who is the customer? If I am the, okay, I'm sorry, but pull, pull, pull it on down because even your energy and your attitude is no, very inappropriate. You, but clearly, you could hear me because you said that I was giving you attitude and you didn't want to well, serve me like off were. of me saying hello. So I'm gonna first service you first. I am an educator and I also sit on the board for for no no. I am filming her because she's being yes. extremely rude. Yes. And I have other customers to you for interrupting me. A lot of other customers to even vouch for that. I'm so sorry. When I came over here, I said hello, and she said uh, card. Uh, she said I would say cash a card. I said hello, cash a card. I said I'm sorry, mm -hmm. you know. And then when she said I said oh, okay, I'm okay, so I started pulling this out. And then she continues to get an attitude with me and says that I'm not serving you. I don't like that. And all I was doing was saying hello. Even the way she's like being dismissive right now, because that is not okay. Very rude. You're being disrespectful. Oh, no, she's not being rude. I'm sorry. Are you, 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 you,
Yeah. Oh, but hold on, Miss Green. Because at this point, it's beyond checking me out. Because how are you saying that I'm being rude if when you said you can't hear me? You understand? You always said you cannot hear me when I'm being rude. I know, but here we have to ask for the payment first, and then we go to say hello. You need to say hello first. She's buying it from you, ma'am. She's buying it from you. And she's continuing to argue with the customer. I'm not arguing with you. I'm trying. You continue to argue with the customer. You're continuing to argue with the customer, young lady. There's a lot of maturity that you need to that needs to happen. You're continuing to argue. Maybe it's not that bad. Yeah, it is. You're still arguing with the customer. You're still arguing with. The, you can't even listen to your manager. And I have no attitude or anything, honey. With that. It must be. I mean, she's arguing with the customer. I'm arguing with her manager, so clearly she's not arguing with me. <laughs> They're not ignorant no. people at all. But you got the wrong attitude. That's what I feel like it is. 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 This paranoid Karen actually showed up at someone's doorstep, claiming their toys are hers. When the owners confront her, she acts all crazy, demanding receipts like she's in charge. Ma'am, but she, no, this is not that's yours. not yours. This is not yours. What are you talking about? Here, get this, Maurice, because she ain't finna snatch nothing out my hand. <laughs> Listen, you, you may take your recycling bin, but the rest is but, mine. But it's not yours. You just walked up on our on the property and decided that you was finna take some stuff. Do you stuff. have a receipt for it? No. Do you have a receipt for it? Actually, I do. Okay, well, I need to see that thing. Right I, will, with the police I, will, too. I will give you the receipt as okay. soon as I take it. What have you taken, ma'am? What drugs Where have you, you taken? Yeah. Where do you live? It does not matter where I live. It does, because you come over here. Uh, but why would you? House. Yeah, why and. You choose this house. Yeah, and those are cute. Like, why? You don't know why? Did you have too many drugs tonight? She did. Or, or did you have too much to drink? Here's it's time. one or the other. You know your pants fell down and stuff, right? <laughs> Here's my, here's I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Ma'am, do I need to call the police? Yeah. Like, no, but you're, you're not going to yeah, give her the wagon. Yeah, here, I'm going to be honest. She said yeah. With you. Should I be calling the police? I, I'm going to be honest with you right Should now. I don't know. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest with you right now. Please, be honest. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm some putting this shit on world star. I, I need some old residents. Are you taking video? Uh, no, I'm actually okay. using a flashlight. <laughs> uh, I knew old residents of this home. Do you know how long she's been living here? Yeah, I believe this is five years old. 1748 Juliet. I don't know if you you might have the wrong don't house. Don't bullshit me. No. I knew the residents. But of this look home. at this sign over know. there. I don't remember, but I knew the residents. Wheeler and Juliet, and then. The blue, the don't. Somebody. With me. No, don't fuck with me. I will call the police on you. Call whoever you want. You are on her. Oh, wait, 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 wait. My mother will. You want to have This entitled Karen took up two parking spots, and now she's stuck between two cars, unable to get out. What's up? I can't get out. You can't get out? How'd you park there? Oh, it's the best. I've been parked there. Have you been parked there? Oh, I didn't notice. You can't get out? No. How come? Are you in a parking spot? Oh, kinda. We're like halfway in this one. You can get out. Is that a Mercedes you drive? Yeah. Yeah, it gives you the right to park in two parking spots? No, but why'd you do it? So park in two no, spots not, because like, you don't want somebody to scratch your car. What? I can park this truck in one parking spot. It costs more okay. than Mercedes. And it's twice the size. Can you please Yeah. Just don't park in two parking spots. It's I'm not like, cool. Okay, I was just in there real quick. I didn't want to park so far away. This Karen in the neighborhood was harassing some guys, telling them to get out for no reason while they were just minding their own business. 
Look. Uh, Ow. We are licensed by the Ow. city. So I'm we're going to continue knocking. You can call the police and we'll show them our licenses. And it doesn't make a difference. This is a non city exactly. neighborhood per our covenant restrictions. Yep. And the it's Supreme Court ruled front. that no HOA can and actually put restrictions. Front, you need to go. Exactly. As I mentioned, we are Sir, licensed by really the state. I don't care, young man. You need to leave. Okay. Hey, ma'am, why you are you so upset? Why are you so upset? Because you need are you to okay? leave and you're arguing with me. Yeah. You need to go. Look, ma'am, we're out here doing our this job, is my and we job. are licensed by the city. You so go. we're going to continue to do our job. No, you and are that's, not. That's going to be it. So. No, you are not. You need to go. I will follow you wherever you go. Of course. Out of the neighborhood. If I have to get more of the board members out here to walk you out, I will. Of course. I'll look, but buddy also said the same thing. It's okay, man. We're licensed. No, we're licensed by the city. I don't care. Your dog, though. Who you I do like, like your dog. Anybody can hey there, baby. Hey there. Come here. Come here. Oh, buddy. Oh, oh hey there, Come buddy. Here. Karen thought it would be a great idea to throw the guy's fishing pole into the lake. But when the guy confronts her, she gets mad and starts arguing with him. That's just threw a pole in. Uh, it wasn't? I thought it was mine. Oh, he just no, gave me that. What are you guys doing? Oh, recording me? No. He just gave me that line? No. And now you're recording me? Where did we say we gave it to you? That line right there. You Where said did it was we say mine. We gave it to you? He did. He Where? gave it to Where? me. Where? He told me Where? I love you so Ladies on that is fishing. No, I know, but that's yeah, what she threw a pole. Yeah, she threw one of our poles. See ya. You're leaving. Well, she's, she's trying to leave right now. What do you mean I'm trying to leave? I can come and go as I please. Uh -huh. I didn't bother you at all. Oh, I go, I come and go every day. Uh, same one pole is just in the water, and then the other two are, are, are good. As we wrap up this wild journey through Karen Land, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Help us reach the incredible milestone of 1 million subscribers before the new year. Your support means the world to us, and we've got even more outrageous content in store. Subscribe now, stay tuned, and let's hit that 1 million together. Thanks for being part of the fun.